Hey teachers, here's how to create a digital notebook for your students. I came in here to Google Slides and I changed the layout of this page. You could keep it bigger if you want, but I wanted it to look like a notebook. To do that, you go to File and then go down to Page Setup and it will allow you to customize how you want your slides to be sized. Then I just started adding things in here. One thing that's really cool that you can do is link your slides to a table of contents. I plan on having my students keep their links of assignments in this notebook so that they can find them easier when it's time to turn them in. That's why I made a table of contents based on each unit. So if you click on this, it takes you to slide nine, which starts unit one. If you click on this, it takes you to where they're going to be putting their links. Those were the two most important things that I wanted them to have quick access to. There are some slides in between there are some documents that we're going to practice and different assignments in between that. But I wanted them to have quick access to those two things. If you want to add more into your table of contents, that's fine. All you do to link those is put a text box in and then insert link. And right here, it will allow you to link to a slide. If you have a title on the slide, then it will show up here and it's easier to find the slide that you want to link it to. Then you can type in the text that you want to have and press apply. I also have some resources that they need for AP World History and just different items in this notebook that can help them as we navigate through the year. When I share this notebook with my students, I want to make sure that they are forced to copy it so that they don't forget or they don't ask questions as to why they can't access it. To do that, you're going to press share and you're going to make sure that your settings are correct. I'm going to do it anyone with a link can view just in case the kids aren't on their HISD Google. Then simply press done and go up to your URL take out this part and type in copy. Then you're going to paste this wherever you want to share it with your students. When they get it, it will force them to make a copy. This also works with Google Docs and the rest of the Google Suite. Just a cool little trick to be able to force them to make a copy. One last thing that I wanna share with you, when I have my students make their own copy of this, I want to be able to get into their notebooks and make sure that they're actually taking their notes or possibly grade things depending on how and what the project is. In order to get their links, I would go back here and I'm going to make a Google form to collect their info. I'm gonna title this notebook links and first name, last name. Quick tip that I found out uh, the hard way if you want to alphabetize, it's easier to do it if the first and last name are separate and then a link to notebook. Now I will share this with my students. When they fill that out, they'll give me a link to their notebook and it will come up as a spreadsheet. That way I can easily get into their notes and see, okay, yes, they're doing what I asked them to do. They're good to go. And if you have Bitmoji on your browser, it's always fun if you get into a student's notebook and grab one of your Bitmojis and drop it in their notebook. Let them know that you're actually looking at these notebooks because that keeps them accountable. One thing I thought about was what happens if I forget to put something in their notebook that they're going to need. You could do this in several different ways. You could just share with them whatever you want them to put in their notebook and they could put it in themselves. Or you can push it out to them. And if you use Alice Keeler's Push to Slides, I'll put the link in the description below, you're going to make a copy to your copy of the form and click on the puzzle piece, push slides, and then click setup. When you set this up the first time, you have to give it permission to run script, which is okay to do because we trust Alice Keeler. She's awesome, she's a teacher too. So we trust that this is a good script to run. So you can go ahead and run through those steps. 
Once you get done with those steps, this will pop up. And if this doesn't pop up, you just go back to your puzzle piece and grab it. And what you're going to do here is put the link to whatever slide presentation you want to share with their notebook. So let's say that I'm going to share this slide presentation. This is my master slides. So I would go in here and copy that in. Once you set that up, you can keep that presentation. You'll just tell it which number of slide you want to share. Also, you know you've been successful because it will have this in whatever presentation you have shared and successfully linked with this. You're going to share this with the kids and the kids will fill this out. What they need to do is make sure that they first share their slides with their teachers. After they make their own digital copy of this, they will share that with you. The students will walk through here and they'll say, yes, I've shared with my teacher. They'll give you the URL, they'll put their name and they'll say, got it and then submit. So when I push it out to the students, I would click push slides, push a slide, and then tell it which number of this presentation I want to share. So once I tell it, okay, I want to push out slide two, it will push it out to all the students that are linked. It will let you know up here at the top when it's finished, and then the students should have that slide. It's pretty simple once you get it set up. I originally learned this from Alice Keeler on her YouTube channel, Push a Slide to Each Student Google Slides. So if you wanna check that out as a quick refresher, you can do that as well. And that's it for today. If you have any questions about how to make a digital notebook, feel free to email me. I'm always there to help you. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss a thing. Thank you so much for watching and have an awesome school year.